13 best destinations to visit in Arizona. If you're new to Travel Wish Feed, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on the next beautiful destinations we feature. Arizona is a state full of beauty and culture, the true embodiment of the American Southwest. Every corner of this state has something magical to reveal to its adventurers. Some you may already know about, while some may surprise you. So, come with us on this journey to discover the top places to visit in Arizona. Number 13. Tombstone a city full of legendary characters and Western heritage, you will quickly see why the locals refer to their home as the town too tough to die. Head over to the Gunfight Palace or OK Corral for reenactments of some of the best altercations. Then hop on a trolley for a tour of the Good Enough Mine, a six mile long silver mine that still has silver ore in it today. If you're not too tired from all of the excitement, Check out Tombstone's fantastic ghost tours and visit the 10 most haunted places in Arizona. Number 12. Antelope Canyon Located near Page, Arizona, Antelope Canyon is like stepping straight into a picturesque desert painting. This beautiful canyon is known as a slot canyon, meaning it's narrow and deep. Its sandstone walls have been dramatically sculpted by several years of water and wind erosion creating bold lines and unique tonal variations. If you are a budding photographer, the canyon walls provide the perfect backdrop to hone your skills. Even if you aren't looking to take stunning photos, Antelope Canyon is a must-see hotspot, and you can easily join tours from surrounding cities, such as Phoenix, Flagstaff, Sedona, and Las Vegas. Number 11. Bisbee as you are traveling throughout southeast Arizona, you are likely to come across the expansive Mule Mountains. In the late 19th century, this area was so rich in minerals that the mining claim became known as the Queen of the Copper Camp, producing an estimated 6.1 billion when in operation. Start by visiting one of the mines that helped put this town on the map. As all the tour guides are retired, experienced miners, you are guaranteed an authentic mining experience. The town also offers many museums to expand further your knowledge of the area and the Western lifestyle history. Before moving on, don't forget to support us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our amazing content. Getting back to our list, number 10, Canyon de Shelley. Are you looking for some more quality time with nature? Canyon de Shelley is a great place to start. These 84,000 acres rest within the Navajo Nation and has a unique and rich history. It is the longest continually inhabited area on the Colorado Plateau. The park offers several different scenic drives, each taking about two hours to complete. It brings you to the top of the canyon rim for some spectacular sightseeing and photo opportunities. Enjoy the panoramic landscape as you hike along the White House Trail or hire a private tour guide to take it deep within the canyon trails by horseback. Number 9. Scottsdale While much of Arizona is rugged, Scottsdale is a unique place that still allows access to the Sonoran Desert while also boasting a more luxurious lifestyle. Start with a visit to Old Town, where the Southwest meets fashion. If you still need some retail therapy, Scottsdale Fashion Square has a plethora of shops to pursue. Check out Historic Old Town, where you can find one-of-a-kind Native American jewelry and souvenirs. Scottsdale also has several Sonoran Desert-inspired spas. Make sure to look for a legitimate botanical spa that fuses traditional Native American healing treatments with today's state-of-the-art luxuries. Finally, explore the fantastic art scene as you head back to Old Town and experience the America's original art walk on Thursday evenings. Number 8. Jerome If you are traveling between Flagstaff and Prescott, look out for a little town nestled atop Cleopatra Hill. Much like Bisbee, Jerome got its start as a copper mining camp and grew as word got around of the billion-dollar mine. At the turn of the century, Jerome was the fourth largest city in Arizona. However, when the copper mine closed in 1953, it quickly became a ghost town, surviving its claim as the largest ghost town in America. 
Today, its 450 residents showcase their home with arts, music, and bountiful shopping. Number 7. Monument Valley Even if you aren't familiar with Monument Valley, you have likely seen pictures of the fabulous rocky spires jutting up into an orange sky. These spires were once mountains, but millions of years of erosion created the astonishing structures we see today. Upon entering the park, you will immediately see Merrick Butte and Mitten Buttes. If you are inclined to explore these landmarks further, the Navajo tour operators will gladly escort you closer via Jeep. Several vendors along the marked paths offer traditional Native American wares, such as food, arts, and souvenirs. Number 6. Phoenix Phoenix may be one of the larger cities in Arizona, but that doesn't mean losing any of its charms. Phoenix offers a wide variety of outdoor adventures, as well as bustling nightlife. For the adventurer, experience the desert by touring Papago Park's buttes, or hike through the Echo Canyon. Families can enjoy the multitude of museums and zoos and cool down at the local water park. Phoenix's nightlife has a lot to offer as well, with ballrooms, breweries, dance halls, arcades, and cocktail lounges. Number 5. Tuscan Away from all the hustle and bustle of the fast-paced city life, Tuscan has found its niche in the desert. Because it boasts clear skies, little light pollution, and tall cliffs, Tuscan is one of the country's best places for some good old-fashioned stargazing. There are many observatories in the area, offering the opportunity to view the night sky through a telescope, or you can enjoy the view while laying on a blanket with loved ones. Number 4. Grand Canyon What would a trip to Arizona be without a visit to the Grand Canyon? This canyon is called Grand for a reason. It's beautiful. It's exhilarating. It's big. Because the Grand Canyon encompasses 277 miles, you likely won't see it all in just one trip, so it would be best if you decided whether to visit either the North or South Rim. The North Rim is harder to navigate and closed in the winter. However, if you visit any other time of the year, you will be rewarded with some fantastic panoramic views. The South Rim is open all year long and is much easier to get to. However, just because it is easier to access doesn't mean it is any less spectacular. At over 7,000 feet above sea level, you will find yourself taking in some breathtaking views. Number 3. Sedona Sedona has a lot to offer. From arts and culture, to outdoor activities, to relaxation and spas, Sedona is the center of the cultural southwest, so make sure to take the opportunity to learn about its rich heritage. Sedona has several art galleries that showcase many great southwest artists. In need of some relaxation? Finish your day up with a dip in the resort pool or one of the many tribal spas. Number 2. Glen Canyon National Recreation Area Glen Canyon begins in Lee's Ferry and stretches all the way to the southern portion of Utah. With this much space, this park offers unprecedented views. Whether you are a backcountry explorer or prefer your own adventures on the water, chances are you will love Glen Canyon. The canyon houses Lake Powell, as well as a portion of the Colorado River. Fishermen can spend their days fishing for trout, kayakers can paddle calmly in the warm sun and swimmers can splash their cares away. If you prefer, you can even rent a campsite and stay a night or two, but make sure to stay up late enough to get some good stargazing and save up plenty of energy to hike Horseshoe Bend or Rainbow Bridge. Number 1. Havasu Falls This waterfall is abundant with pristine baby blue water. Keep in mind though that to experience the falls, you will need to be prepared to take a 10-mile hike. All that being said, the hike itself is rather easy and well-suited for most adventurers. You will see ample wildlife and scenery along the way. Once you reach the falls and see the fantastic blue water splashing against the brownish-orange canyon walls, you won't want to leave. There's a campsite just two miles away from the falls, so on your way back, Pitch camp and relax while you review all the astonishing photographs you took on your journey. Did you enjoy our video? 
Which other destinations in Arizona do you think we should include in this list, and why? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, kindly subscribe to our channel, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our new videos.